We're a very nimble group. We are doing the things that the company needs for us to do today, which is uh, develop a lot of new vehicles that can be sold in any country, make sure the technologies that are expected in those countries are uh, included in those vehicles. Uh, and as we move into the future, uh, we will quickly get into the technologies that we need in the future uh, to move those forward as well. And of course, Mahindra has a lot of research projects, just like every other OEM has, uh, on battery technologies and battery management systems and electric motor technologies, self-driving technologies and connected car technologies are also things that, we're, that we work on as a company. And uh, as it's appropriate, those things will be rolled out in the markets that we sell in. You know, anytime you're trying to start a business in a place where that business hasn't existed before, uh, there's all kinds of issues, right? Um, Mahindra has, is known in the United States, but mostly in the uh, agricultural area. We sell a lot of tractors here. One of the things that you have to do when you come here is people have to know who are you and why are you here. And so one of the biggest challenges we had was to kind of tell our story to people. And we started to do that in the local media as best as we could. Uh, we got involved in some um, local charities like the Urban, Urban Agriculture Grant Program. And one of the reasons we did that was so that we could have a forum or a, or a, or a pulpit or a platform that we could go out and talk to the community and tell them why we were here. So um, getting people to understand what we are, uh, what our automotive aspirations are, what our aspirations as a company are, who's the Mahindra Group, why are we here, uh, why are we trying to expand into the United States, do we really have an auto business? Those are the kinds of things that you have to get the word out into the community uh, before anybody will take you seriously. So one of the issues is how, did we get, how do you get the right people in here? How we make that work in the Mahindra context, which uh, as always is going to be a high value frugal context, which is how can we, how can we ring the most out of the organization and do as much for the company as we can do with the amount of resources that we're given. So uh, we're very particular about the people that we hire because every person that comes in here has to be able to put their head down, they have to know what they're doing, they have to be able to um, work effectively with teams of people around the globe who often don't have the same level of knowledge, so that means there's a mentoring and a teaching factor involved, and so the personalities of the people we hire and the skill sets of the people we hire here are so important to the success of m and um, that it's frankly, it's our, it's our number one preoccupation.